ವಂದೇ ಶಿಗುರ ಸೃಜುತ ಪದ ಕಮಲ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರು ವೈಷ್ಣವ ಶಾಗ್ರಜಾತ ಸಹ ಗಣ ರಘುನಾಥ ಮೀತ ತೀವ ಸಾಧಯೀತ ಶಾಬೂತ ಪರೀಜನ ಸಹಿತ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ದೇವ ಶ್ರೀರಾಧ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪ ಸಗಣ ಲಲಿತ ಶಿಶಕ್ಷಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದೋ ಶ್ರೀಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸಾದಿ ಗೋರ್ಭಕ್ತವೃಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರಿ ಹರಿ ಆಲ್ ಗ್ಲೋರಿಸ್ ಟು ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರು ಆನ್ ಗೌರಾಂಗ ಆಲ್ ಗ್ಲೋರಿಸ್ ಟು ಶ್ರೀ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಮಹಾಮಂತ್ರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನ ಆಲ್ ಗ್ಲೋರಿಸ್ ಟು ಗುರು to his divine grace sachidananda bhakti vinod thakur all glories to his appearance festival all glories all glories to hari naam chintamani all glories to my beloved spiritual master his divine grace bhakti pramod puri swami thakur all glories to my grand spiritual master His divine grace, Srila Prabhupada Bhakti Siddhanta, Saraswati Goswami Thakura. All glories to Azambil devotees. I saw there is a question. Ever dear Guru Dev, please accept my humble obeisance. All glories to the Parampara. I thank you very much for your Hari Katha. I always listen. with great enthusiasm today i want to ask you what i am supposed to do or to say when confronted to this situation an elder sister in god of mine god of mine traumatize two neophyte sister elder sister in god of mine hmm. as a god of mine traumatize hmm. two neophyte sister willing to help she is very authoritative she torment the younger one blaming her when she does not come to the class to a class she makes bad remark to the other one who is 85 both are scared please help us please tell them this is the lord always give us free will we should always give everyone free will we should not criticize or control anyone 
This is called spiritual life. Spiritually, we are always free. Lord, give us free will. Hmm? So better, when they will ask any questions, you can ask, you can reply. But better not to say anything. Uh, always be sweet. When you become sweet, then you make them sweet. Um, Mm -hmm. Anyway, old day they will not, they will not change themselves. Mm. So always try to encourage, uh, encourage them. What they, they have feeling of encouragement. They want to listen. Only that much. How much you are, your limit to speak. Speak only that much. Don't try to control them in this advanced age. <clears throat> Just simply, if they are not coming to the class, tell them, chant Harinam. Or think about God. That's all. In that way. We want, everyone, everyone should get and encouragement to practice spirituality. So today also, also very important, significant, auspicious day for all of us. Because today is the Bhaktivinoda Thakur's appearance day. I spoke Bhaktivinoda Thakur's appearance day about uh, the glories of Bhaktivinoda Thakur in Hindi language, Hindi and Bengali language, morning in uh, Zoom, through Zoom which I speak Bengali audience with Bengali language and 3 o'clock, 3 to 4, I spoke Hindi language also in front of temple. I think this is 5.45 to 6.30 or 6 to 6.30 or 6.40 like this. So I spoke in Hindi language. So let me speak about little bit of Bhaktivinoda Thakur's life. Because Bhaktivinoda Thakur Bhaktivinoda Thakur compose so many books which we are following which we are following now since morning to night since morning to night from morning to night what we are practicing 99% uh, uh, composed by Bhaktivinoda Thakur Therefore, we have to speak it. Even today, you know, the last few days, we are reading Harinam Chintamani. Also, it is written by Bhakti Vinath Thakur. Hmm? So, Bhakti Vinath Thakur, we cannot ignore. Today, his appearance, the appearance and disappearance for Vaishnava is the same. Abhirvab, Tirobhab means, Abhirvab means appearance. Tirova means disappearance. There is no difference. All, both, both we make festival. Avirva Mahotsav, Tiroha Mahotsav. Mahotsav means great festival. 
Why? Abhidhava, we understand, okay, it is the, it is required to make festival. But Tirova, it is like a disappearance. Why? Why we make festival? Because Vaishnavas, when they are leaving this material world, they are going back to the eternal, eternal abode, Supreme Lord's eternal abode, and get the eternal service of Supreme Lord, which is blissful place, no distress. So our main goal of life to see our Guru Vaishnava become happy. When Guru Vaishnava leaving their body, leaving their body, they are going back to this blissful place. When we see they are entering blissful place, ah, Nitya Lila, ah, then it is, we have to be also happy instead of distress. Of course, we feel distress because of this form, means which form Guru Vaishnava used to give us, give us discourses, used to give us instruction. He is not able to, we are not able to see that uh, transcendental form, means that his form anymore available in our, in our eyes, in our vision. Therefore, we may feel distress, but actually it is Vaishnava's appearance and disappearance, both are same. Um, again, Again, there is a Chaitanya, Chaitanya Chaitamrita says that Krishna Janamatiti Jiyana Pavitra Vaishnavera Janamatiti Rishai Mato Charitra One pure devotee is day of appearance and one uh, Krishna's appearance how much pure and auspicious Vaishnava's appearance same as Krishna's appearance. Why? Because pure devotee Vaishnavas, they are keeping in their heart or Lord staying in their heart forever or resting in their heart forever. Tomara Ridaya Shada Govinda Vishram. O Vaishnava, in your heart, Govinda means Supreme Lord Krishna, is taking rest forever. <coughs> hmm? So, this is the. <coughs> so, today uh, we have to think about such, such context, what Chaitanya Charitamrita says. Vaishnava is Janmatiti. Krishna Janmati Ti Jemato Pavitro Vaishnava Janmati Ti Shai Mato Charitro Means same value Vaishnava appearance and Lord's appearance Same value So Bhaktivinath Thakur appearance If we think about Bhaktivinath Thakur How he dedicated his entire life Since he born 1838 1838 hmm? and which day 2nd September 2nd September 1838 Bhakti Vinod Thakur appear uh, in a Jamindar means landlord family it's very significant you know it's very significant that how is it possible that it's a such a exalted personality appear in that materialistic family. You know, we should not think about that Vaishnava appear which family? Vaishnava's uh, Vaishnava's actual activities we have to always look. Because Vaishnava is recognized through chanting. Uh, 
they are faith of chanting. That is the Vaishnavas. <clears throat> Vaishnavas real designation. Who is Vaishnava? Should not look this which family he born. Hmm? Therefore, who is in the Western world, if they chant Hare Krishna Mahamantra sincerely, they have to know they are really Vaishnava. I humbly pay obeisance to all of them. Hmm? Because they are in more challenge than us. You know, Indian atmosphere is favorable for practicing devotion. But Western atmosphere is not favorable. When Western devotees, Western people, they are chanting sincerely, we have to appreciate them. We have to encourage them. Huh? Why? They are following with antagonistic atmosphere, in antagonistic atmosphere, following the bhakti in antagonistic atmosphere. Why? Because if you go Western world, then you can see all of our uh, advertisement which encouraging us to get, your, get our life, uh, get enjoyment, get some enjoyment in our, in our life. But India gradually got turning into <coughs> that shape. But still, Indian culture is supporting back to practice spirituality. Most of the place, not every place. So anyway, recently I, I composed one very short life history of Bhaktivinath Thakur. Very short, many, maybe hundred word. Let me read that first. After Lord Chaitanya went back to his own abode in the spiritual world, gradually the pure devotional practice began to enter into a phase of darkness and uncertainty in the Gaudiya Vaishnava tradition throughout India. This is true. Uh, after Lord Chaitanya, physical departure from this material world, means we can say another way, how Lord Chaitanya went back to his abode physically. And there is a uh, six Goswami continuing the purity. After six Goswami, Narottam, Sriniva, Samananda also continuing the purity. Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami Path, Vrindavan Dashtaku, they are also continuing the purity. When gradually down to the Balada Vidyavushan Prabhu, after that, there is a, it's a dark period of devotional practice and a Vaishnava's practice. Why? People are, people are and a followers in the name of Vaishnava practice. They make dirty, con, dirty atmosphere in community. Why? I'm, why I'm telling the dirty atmosphere? They always, they always thinking at that time. Radha Krishna's conjugal relation is material, so they are also involving themselves with with uh, woman devotee, such relation in the name of practicing Vaishnava. Therefore, all the intellectual person, they are not interested, they thought this is the dirty uh, philosophy. Uh, this is only for, you know, in our, so many people, even the uh, Mohan Das Karamchat Gandhi, he used to call Harijan. 
Harijan means uh, they are chanting Hari, they are connecting with it. But who is poor and who is chanting Lord Hari's name, they are called, called actually Vaishnava. But actually, actually Bhaktivinoda Thakur revived uh, again uh, and destroyed their conception and established the pure devotion. We can say revive the pure devotion, Bhaktivinoda Thakur. <clears throat> Therefore, you, know, you can see there is an explanation. There is a 13 Apasampradaya. Apasampradaya means a Shampradaya using Mahaprabhu's name, <clears throat> but their own way. They used, to follow, they used to follow their own way. All the dirty, dirty, funny, 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 funny idea, which is not approved by Sastra. We can say that much. So, all those Apasampradaya names. Jadgun hmm. Sai, Smartho, so, so many, yeah. Not so many names are there, there are 13 upper Sampradaya. So Bhaktivinath Thakur, as soon as he appeared, and he, you know Bhaktivinath Thakur actually, uh, he was highly academic, he has a highly academic qualification. And a British government, he appoint, they appoint him as a deputy magistrate hmm, in different district. First he was appointed in Bihar state, then he eventually moved to Odisha, then he, they moved him to Bengal. So anyway, <coughs> he was he born in a very uh, he was a royal, we can say in a royal family really, really exalted. They have, this family also connected with Lord Chaitanya. Uh, they had connection. So somehow or other, you know this, Bhaktivinoda was born in that family. And they revived the pure Vaishnava culture. After Valadha Vidya Bhushan and Bhaktivinoda Thakur, it was a completely dark period. <clears throat> so therefore, we have, we can say, Bhakti Manat Thakur, we like Bhakti Bhagirat. Bhagirat, one saint, who brought uh, holy river, Ganga Devi, from heaven to, to the earth, for purifying all of us. Similarly, bhakti really purifying all of us, but when bhakti, we are practicing according to our own way instead of our previous teacher's instruction, then it is become, although we are practicing but in dark, real fruits, we are not able to get it. So, bhakti Thakur, Showing this, uh, the pure Vaishnava practice through books by example. He wrote books, also he practiced accordingly. Uh, <clears throat> so many op opportunists began taking on the grab of Vaishnavas, but were preaching their own mental cons. Concoction. I already explained you mental concoction and, de and deviated the general mass away from the path of surrender and pure love of the divine couple Sri Sri Radha Krishna as taught by Lord Chaitanya. It is fact. Lord Chaitanya says. Lord Chaitanya says hmm, that we have to be free from all material attachment. 
But in the name of practice, they are all in the material attachment. Man, woman, conjugal relation, uh, in the name of devotion. It's very weird. Uh, weird. So anyway, Shala Bhaktivinav Thakur revived, what I said, Dhaktivinav, revived the pure lineage of Gauriya Vaishnavism during the dark period, dark, dark period state starting in the 90th century. Yes. After 29 years, when Bhaktivinav Thakur he became 29 years old, from that time he dedicated he be, or you can say a follower to become Lord Chaitanya's mission. Uh, fully dedicated through the Vipin Biyari Goswami to whom he accepted as his guru. Sometimes we have some uh, misconception or misrepresentation that Bhakti Mahatma could not accept his guru anymore. Uh, but I saw one of his uh, composes compose song uh, that Amar Guru Vipini Vihari. He wrote like that. Right? So, so my spiritual master is Vipini Vihari. He accepted. Even I heard from my from, I heard from one of my Guru Maharajas. Uh, Letter or not diary in 1912. 1912, he came to Bhakti Bhavan, where Bhakti Bhavan Thakur used to stay at Calcutta. Ah, that Bhakti Bhavan to meet with Bhakti Bhavan Thakur. After meeting Bhakti Bhavan Thakur, he went to Bipin Bihari Goswami. And met with him. So, Bhakti Thakur is really, really uh, such an exalted personality. Uh, we become fortunate to come into his lineage, in it, into his lineage, but or to connect it in his lineage. We feel fortunate. When I feel fortunate, I don't know anybody. I feel fortunate. And that to be connected with Bhakti Thakur lineage. Hmm. He was famously known as the seventh Goswami. Yeah, people are talking, you know, especially Gaudiya devotees, they are considering he is the seventh Goswami. Why? Goswamis, all the six Goswami, they compose so many books and they discover Holy Dham. They, put, they wrote commentary, yeah? so many books. So Bhakti Thakur also wrote commentary of Chaitanya Charita Amrita, which is, his commentary name is Amrita Prabhava Bhashya, his commentary name. Hmm? Just to think, Bhakti Thakur, uh, he wrote so many books, he discovered uh, Lord Chaitanya's birthplace as a nine island. Huh? So therefore, our most of the Gauriya temples devotees, a which follower of Gauriya Mod, most of them they are they are uh, they are accepting Shri Bhakti Thakuri the seventh Goswami. He was born. Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur was born as Kedarnath Dattu, name become Kedarnath Dattu, on the 2nd of September 1838. Yeah. I already explained he born in a royal family, yeah, Jamindar means after that, yeah, and belongs to a wealthy Jamindar landlord family. A royal family, I explain. Huh? In his early years, he was exceptionally studious. Is this true? 
If you look, he composed Mahaprabhu's life history, lives and precept. <clears throat> and distribute at that time English books of Vaishnava literature. It, it was rare. Even there is a several universities send Bhagavatam philosophy in English, English language in the Western world. So, therefore, if we say uh, that in his early years he was exceptionally studious. In his university days he associated with the intellectuals of the Bengali Renaissance. Renaissance. Renaissance means who actually make a revolution to change the change the uh, Bengali atmosphere, you know. So there those people he associate in his student type. They are they are extremely intellect intellectuals. He associate with them. He studied numerous philosophical systems system of system of both the east and the west and was also an accomplished poet actually so many kirtan means poem he composed therefore a great poet also uh, philosophical philosophical hmm? Numerous philosophies, so many philosophies, he just read. Eastern and Western. His career culminated in his, in his post as a district magistrate, which was the highest post available to a native Indian under the rule of the British Raja. British Raj to get a job like a district magistrate is not a matter of joke. It is not a matter of joke. <clears throat> you are such intellectual therefore British, British Raj choose him and appoint, appoint him as a district magistrate. <clears throat> In the 29th year, when he was 29 years, he became a dedicated follower of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And very quickly established himself as a prominent and influential number member of the Gauriya Vaishnava community through his own example. <clears throat> but what he practiced, he used to follow. I remember Bhaktivinoda Thakur, seasonal fruit, you know, summertime, mango fruits, uh, jamun fruits, whatever fruits available in Bengal at that time, when in India at that time, seasonal food, he always used to bring first in home. Why? To offer. Offer home, Lord. In the example, you know, our, our grand spiritual master, his divine grace, Bhakti, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Prabhupada, when he was a little boy, he brought, when Bhakti Thakur brought some ripe mango for offer, for offer, in order to offer his Lord Radha Govinda. Hmm. But, you know, this childlike nature, Srila Prabhupada Bhakti Siddha Saraswati Thakur, that time he, his name was Bhimala Prashad. He just grabbed one mango. And Bhakti Thakur says, these fruits I brought for Lord. First, Lord should honor, means we should offer him, then he can have. So he made mistake, Prabhupada made mistake. He took, uh, before offering Lord, he took the mango before 
offering therefore he decided he will reject the man arrived mango from his life entire life he never take arrived mango this is the incident bhaktivinoda thakur uh, that he always uh, bringing seasonal fruit when whenever newly appeared he always offered to lord that and that way devotional practice means not like a in mind concoction whatever it's actually this is called atma bath whatever we are feeling whatever we are eating whatever however we are staying uh, always we have to prepare for lord at least 10 times better than us at least 10 times my my spiritual master once uh, when we arrange his accommodation uh, in jagannath puri temple on our third floor although it was not that much comfortable room and comfortable bed but he said that oh you are arranging uh, for me a dugdha phenone basujja means a milk foam soft you know soft like a milk foam dugdha phenone basujja the bed you arrange my bed like milk foam soft uh, that bed soft like a milk foam when milk in milking then foam is appear such a soft bed but i am not qualified for to use such type of bed until or unless you are not arranging my lord jagannath a hundred time better than that bed or that accommodation so after that you know 1997 when he explained to to us then we had we had decided to make a nice temple for our deities you know jagannath puri the deity our deity is uh, guru gauranga radha madan mohan <coughs> baladev subhadra jagannath sudarshan and nishingadev we are thinking we have to arrange very nice accommodation uh, in order to make our gurudev happy so bhaktivinoda thakur actually he showing us he showing us atma bath service how we are eating we have to arrange accordingly we are eating on the floor on the floor we are putting asana we have to put for offering to lord asana sitting mat not like a one self small place small small plate small cup it's not like that mm. so we have to offer according to how we are using similar manner atma bhakti ka sam atma bhakt service service motive that we have to establish if we really want to be uh, bhakti mana chakra follower <clears throat> then i wrote ah uh, that mm, all i was thinking of how to present mahaprabhu's teaching to a modern world who thinking bhaktivinoda thakur therefore i already explained in in english language he composed this lord chaitanya's life and precept very thin but prominent and uh, british english ha uh, very nice <coughs> books if you don't read please try to collect the book from mandala and read it once at least it's written by bhaktivinoda thakur uh, <clears throat> what is this i have forgotten he ot he authored over 100 books i will explain in a variety of languages it is fact english bengali hindi and different different language also odia different language indian language he departed the this world on the 23rd of june 1914 leaving his legacy behind for the 
service of Lord Chaitanya's mission. All the property he just did, handed over to Lord Chaitanya's mission. You know, all the entire, you can see entire Mayapur, it was under the control of Bhaktivinath Thakur. <coughs> Then eventually this, this Bhaktivinoda Thakur's property uh, because of this government policy it was transferred in different name of Mayapur residents. But uh, eventually you can see Mayapur so many <coughs> land occupied by our temple now. <coughs> Ishkan occupied so much. <coughs> so again coming back to this Bhaktivinoda Thakur uh, Bhaktivinath Thakur's uh, lineage, all the property. Very few occupied by local residents. Hmm? So Bhaktivinath Thakur, uh, we can say that he is our exemplary character. When Bhaktivinoda Thakur used to stay, actually, I have to speak that now. Bhaktivinoda Thakur, Bhaktivinoda Thakur, once he went to Tarakasha. This is very nice. I like it. Therefore, I am telling repeatedly. Tarakasha. Tarakasha means Lord Shiva temple. Very famous temple in Bengal, the Hooghly district. That temple. Yeah, so many people are going there just to offer water. Taking the water from Adi Ganga. Adi Ganga is called Savara Puli. On the railway station name is Savara Puli. From, from Savara Puli to uh, that Tarakasha temple, almost 30 kilometer distance. Even I walk uh, five years or six years. Once in a year five or six times, uh, in each year once. And why? Because I think, I feel, but the, by the grace of uh, Lord Shiva, I feel inspiration to follow my uh, grandfather, sincerely. The Bhaktivinoda Thakur, when he went to that temple, Tarakasa temple, offered the water. Of course, he was not walking. Uh, he just took uh, the local water and offered the water uh, to Lord Shiva. As soon as he reached Tarakasa, uh, Lord Shiva appeared in his vision and explained, uh, Kedarnath. This is not your service to offer water to me. No. Your main service, your main service to discover Lord Chaitanya but flesh. That's all. After God, after the instruction got uh, uh, from, the instruction he got from and Bhaktivinoda got from Lord Shiva, he decided to go to Nadia district as a district magistrate. And British Raj, they allow him to be there as a district magistrate. And he, uh, he, uh, he uh, make a house, made a house, his name is, still this house is exist. Don't think it is fake. His name is Sananda Sukhot Kunjo. And Surabhi Kunjo, both. Surabhi guy, Surabhi cows of Indra. He came in the Navadif. Indra came, Navadif with Surabhi cows. Purpose, he wants to do some atonement. Because he committed offense 
to the lotus feet of Lord Krishna. I think all of you know the what offense he committed. So Indra came with his Suravi guy, Suravi cows, and meditated, Lord, under his tree. Tree is called Drum. So Go Drum. Go means cow. Go means cow. Drum means tree. So therefore, that place name become Godrum. In the Godrum Deep means island, uh, bank of Jalangi River, Bhaktivinoda Thakur established that uh, accommodation in the name of Shurabhi Kunj and Shananda Sukhadu Kunj. Same place. But nowadays, nowadays, the people many other devotees in order to make the place famous and bigger, they also establish some ashram and they are also telling that is the Surabhi Kunj. Anyway, whatever. Entire Gudrum Deep is Surabhi Kunj. Surabhi cow, heavenly cow came. So there he established. Bhaktivinoda established that accommodation and continue his duties ah. and every day his schedule was uh, to sleep at night around 8 p.m. Around 8 p.m. he going for sleep, going to sleep or going to bed for sleeping hmm. and get up midnight. Purpose? Midnight is quiet place and on a quiet time, everybody is sleeping, he was chanting. During chanting, whatever reveal in his heart, devotional uh, feelings, he always composing. Through those revealing uh, what he composed, so his devotee prepared so many books. Sharanagati books. Maybe it's not available in English language. Kulyan Kalpatura books. Gito Boli, Gito Mala. All those books. Jaiva Dharma, all those books he composed. So, once upon a time, when actually he was always thinking, Lord Shiva gave me instruction, how can I fulfill it? He was always thinking about it. Then, one day, Lord fulfilled his desire. Fulfill the desire of Siva and as well as Bhaktivinoda Thakur. On palm tree, palm tree in Bengal, we call Tal, Tal Briksha. Means palm tree. He's usually the tree become tall, really extremely tall. So from his rooftop, he can see, because Mayapur nowadays so many buildings, concrete jungle now. But before it was not like concrete jungle, it was an ah, empty place, jungle, real atmosphere. You know, when I used to go 78 with my grandfather, I saw that, that from the uh, ferry to Jogapi temple in between only one temple, Madhavagoswami temple another temple actually there is small manor Ishkan lotus building is there and one some in front of the gate there is a, a store roof small room where His Divine Grace Bhakti Vedanta Swami Goswami Maharaj I perform his practice, spiritual practice, bhajan. <coughs> I, I heard that. That is the place. And then after that, Jogopi temple. Then Siva Sangam, then Chaitanya Mat. There is no in between any temple. Now become concrete jungle. So many devotees, uh, they make a big, big 
a palace over there. So many hotels, so many visitors. Uh, nowadays, very dirty business going on. I cannot say. But anyway, look. From the rooftop, Bhaktivinoda Thakur saw this on the top of the palm tree a fire flame. Some, some, all of a sudden appear and then immediately become disappeared. Several days he watched about it. Then one day he decided some significant is there. But I cannot understand. Okay, let me see. Let me see. It. Let me go there in palm tree area. And let's see what is going on. What that? Why? Always fire flame appeared top of the tree and disappeared at the midnight while I'm chanting. So when he reached, because he was deputy, he was just district magistrate, came to that place where no one coming, and this uh, bottom of the palm tree is full of tulsi, tulsi plant, and surrounding Muslim residents, all the Muslim houses. So. You know this, you know this, uh, the Indian tradition, if you are in the, if, if you occupied government um, position, they are always respecting you uh, with the word Babu. Babu. Hmm? Babu means you say sir, they say Babu. Ah. So, so Bhakti Mathur appeared there. Then all the Muslim residents, they came and asking, Babu, Babu, is there any service for us? Why you are here? Please let us know. Any service, if you need, we are... Then Bhakti Rathak said, okay, I want to know why there is so many Tulsi under the palm tree. Then they says, Babu, we are trying to prepare so many crops in that area it is nothing no crops at all all turning finally turning in tulsi that hindu holy plant yes i know that's why i'm asking then bhakti the mind have been stuck of that maybe this is the place where lord chaitanya appeared But he was not, uh, he, was, he never take the final decision. He took final, final decision that time. He took final decision, the exact place of Lord Chaitanya, where Chaitanya, Lord Chaitanya appeared. After investigate two things. One, each Indian archaeological department. He went there, uh, bring the old map old map he brought and so many geologists he called geologists I think all of you know so geologists he called and they check they say yes yes magistrate this is the place Lord Chaitanya appeared still he was not satisfied then he brought uh, exalted Vaishnava, Sri Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj, his, his servant brought, brought Jagannath Babaji Maharaj, you know, with on, with on basket. That time there is no car. Maybe car is available, but not available there in the Manavadip Dham. Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj sitting on the basket. He was 125 year old. Maybe you feel weird. How is it possible 125 year old people unable to alive in this college? Ago. But, you know, by the you know, devotional practice, always, always showing us miracle. So it was miracle for us. So 125 year old Jagannath Dasavaji Maharaj, as soon as he reached to that place, he was a static man dancing. Although before he was not able to able to uh, walk alone, 
but he is dancing and saying eito jagannath eito jagannath misses house eito chaitanya birthplace means this is the birthplace of lord chaitanya this is the house of jagannath mishra this is the house of sachi mata in that way he was dancing and chanting with ecstatic manner then bhakti mata who decided finally he said this is the place in that way uh, bhakti mata who discovered chait uh, lord chaitanya chaitanya birthplace and eventually he also discovered the nine island and whatever we are uh, doing parikrama before lord chaitanya's appearance day uh, 10 days before we are always doing parikrama means circumvolent the holy dham uh, according to the bhakti vinod thakur's uh, uh, books you know nine island the nine and glories uh, he composed that navadiv dham mahato he composed uh simad bhagavat or komorichi mala who composed bhakti vinod thakur composed जैव धर्म हू कम्पोज भक्तिनाथ ठाकुर कम्पोज भजन रहस हू कम्पोज भजन रहस्य मिस्ट्री अफ आवर स्पिरिचुअल प्रैक्टिस व्हाट इज द मिस्ट्री यू कैन सी हाउ भक्तिनाथ ठाकुर मेलोडियसली कम्पोज नाइस सॉन्ग न कृष्णदास कविराज गोस्वामी कम्पोज संस्कृत सॉन्ग इन गोविंद लीलामृत द श्लोक ही एक्सट्रैक्ट then he composed in bengali song bengali language all the meaning of the slok he composed very nicely melodiously we are chanting during uh, our kartik time whole one month whatever bhakti vana to compose and Krish- and krishna das kavi has composed we are always chanting hmm? so bhakti vana thakur is our our we can say you know one one watch if you like to run the watch one main spring is there in a spring if the spring is not working then watch is not work so our gauriya practice also based on that bhakti vana thakur was like as a like main spring of our gauriya philosophy so accept the accept his lotus feet sincerely and practice whole heartedly yes whole heartedly practice he says hari naam naam sankirtana sarva sarva narthanas ha huh? naam he says mahaprabhu compose कदाचित कमना नोट कर देते थे संस ना संस ना मतलब चीत दौर पर नमार जनंग भवो महादाबाग निर्बापनम दैट्स सिक्स अस्तो फर्स्ट लोको वहाँ पर वो कंपोज ऑन द बेस ऑफ द सिक्स अस्तो का फर्स्ट लोको ही भक्तों से कंपोज लाइक दिस है नाम संकीर्तन हाय शर्बान और तो ना शर्बो शुभदाय कृष्णे पिमेर उल्लास संकीर्तन होते पाप और संसार नाशन चित्त शुद्धि सर्वभक्ति साधन उद्गम कृष्ण प्रेमोदगम प्रेमृत आई एम जस्ट रीड जस्ट चांटिंग इन बेंगली लैंग्वेज यू मे नॉट अंडरस्टैंड दैट बट मीनिंग इज दिस दिस थ्रू नाम संकीर्तन आर ऑल अनवांटेड मंड एंड डिजायर विल डिस्ट्रॉय कंप्लीटली दिस कॉल मीनिंग ऑफ नाम संकीर्तन सर्वानर्थ नाश नाश मीन डिस्ट्रॉय डिस्ट्रॉय कम्प्लीटली देन वेन ऑल द अनर्थ डिस्ट्रॉय मीन्स अनवान्टेड मंडन डिजायर डिस्ट्रॉय देन हू इट इट विल इट विल एपियर सर्वो शुभोदय शुभ मीन्स ऑल अस्पीसियसनेस विल एपियर वेन अनवान्टेड मंडन डिजायर डिस्ट्रॉय वी शुड नॉट थिंक ओके लेट मी गो टू द Go to go to the bar or restaurant, take some meat, fish, egg, like enjoy uh, our life. No. As soon as unwanted, mundane desire destroy, our focus only one pointed: how to 
how to how to serve lord means to help lord for his for his gratification not my own gratification so many song meaningful song bhaktivinath tag compose you can read the books i hope tomorrow if you like to if you like to know about his composition when he compose so many like nam mahato how he compose very nice song nam mahato glories of holy name now you are reading hari naam chintamani please let me know what you want to listen tomorrow then i will i will i will uh, give class accordingly hare krishna hari bol chatte class dilawa